Okay, so this is take two of this, this video. This is from Black Bridge Brewing, or Black Bridge Brewery, sorry. This is their pseudo lager. And their pseudo lager is a balanced, sessionable ale. It is 4.5% alcohol by volume. It is brewed in Swift Current, Saskatchewan. Pseudo lager is a light, refreshing ale. The addition of noble and American hop varieties and a subtle woody and grassy essence to the beer. Wait a second. It's a refreshing ale. The addition of noble and American hop varieties. Oh, sorry. Lend a subtle woody and grassy essence to the beer. I was going to say that doesn't make sense. This session ale starts out with the aroma of sweet malt and finishes very dry and crisp. Okay, um, so the only thing I can think of is that this is a 4.5% alcohol Kolsch. It's the only thing I can think of to be called pseudo lager, you know, like a lagered ale, but they don't really tell you on the can that it is a Kolsch. So, I don't know. Okay, that, that is beautiful. Look at that, that is bright gold quite see-through, bright white head, nice snap crackle pop. Hi guys! This is a good looking beer. This this is the quintessential beer. When it's put down on the table, you're like, oh yeah, that's a beer. You pick it up and you're like, oh yeah, that's a beer. It does have that sweet malt and slightly grassy, spicy finish that Pilsner or a Kolsch would normally have. Smells like it's pretty much the same thing out of the can. Also sounds like I might have to go check on my dogs. Unfortunately, there's no pause button on a on an Apple phone when you're recording. You know, Samsung phone, I can hit pause in the middle of a recording, go do something, come back, unpause it. As long as I don't, I'm not gone long enough for the phone to go back into sleep mode. But no, no, this is a one shot go. But yeah, grassy and crisp is what I'm smelling. So, I mean, it smells the part. I'm sure it's gonna taste the part. Let's see, cheers. Okay. I don't find there to be a woody note like they speak of, but I do get that grassy, bit of spicy, bit of uh, bit of earthiness. And I mean, I guess you could argue that the earthiness is a, could be a woodiness depending on what your paradigms are of those flavors. Crisp, clean. It does have a drier finish, a little bit more bitter than I would think of for, say, a regular lager or a regular Pilsner or a regular Kolsch, a little bit more bitter on the back end than I would expect for any of those. That's not saying it's too bitter or anything like that. It's very easily approachable. It's very easy to get behind and be like, yeah, boom, and knock her back. I mean, I knocked it back. It's a solid, easy drinking beer. Excuse me. And it's 4.5% alcohol. Which does mean it's a beer you can enjoy more than one or two of. Um, it's a good sessionable beer, like it says. I mean, it's not overpowering in the flavor. And it's not underwhelming in the flavor where you would think that, you well, you wouldn't know that you're drinking a craft brew, first off. Or 
drinking a beer second off or drinking something worthwhile. And I mean, by drinking something worthwhile, I mean, if that that's debatable for everybody. I mean, there's people that think drinking a 12 pack of Corona is worthwhile. And I'm not here to say you're wrong on that. You, if that's what you want to drink, that's what you want to drink. What I'm saying is this has flavor. This lets you know what you're drinking. I don't even drink my beers cold, so there's no off flavors or anything like that. This cold would not have quite as much uh, hop bitterness in the back of the throat. And it would have a little bit more of a, a soft crispness going through it instead of the instead of just really sweet and then grassy, earthy, uh, slightly bitter spiciness. It would be more balanced if I was drinking it cold because the molecules would move slower, things would taste a little differently, and that's certain tastes would be muted. And again, that's that's okay. I like this beer. I like this beer. I do. I like this beer. Blackbridge has now made a second beer that I'm like, you know what? I like it. I'm not saying, oh my god, I love Blackbridge. I need everything. No, but they've made solid beers. And I guess, I guess as I'm getting older, all I'm looking for is solid beers, and I'm getting that out of this. Uh, so pseudo lager. Which again, I think when I tap it in, it's going to say it's a Kolsch. Um, giving that a 725 out of 10. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.